Hey everybody, it's Phil here and you're watching STV Sydney Trains Vlogs. It's currently about 10 past 5 in the morning. I'm currently on my way to work. Uh, in this video, I'll just film some of my trip to work and from work. And we'll have a bit of a chat along the way. Um, haven't done one of these videos in a little while, so I just thought I'd do that. So, I'm currently just waiting for my bus to Central. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you when I get to Central. Right, made it to Central, got the coffee, of course. Now just heading over to Sydney Terminal, where I'll be getting an Oscar. Uh, it's more than welcome to be changed out to a VSAT, but I'm not holding my breath. Um, anyway, uh, to get an Oscar to Epping, as I'll be working in Marsfield today. So we'll film some of that trip, and of course some of the trip back. Nine minutes to go, that's all right. Should make it, unless I break my ankle along the way. Which would also make for an interesting video. <laughs> Might as well just film this power walk through here. I wonder what the chances are of this Oscar being one of the Oscars with um, the new screens, the new information screens. It's been it's been some time since the first two were completed and, enter and entered service with the new screens, um, H15 and 47. It's been a couple of months, I think. I've gotten on board one, um, but I wasn't in the position to actually film it because, um, well, I couldn't go on a trip on it because I was doing something at the time. Um, it was going to Kayama, I believe, and um, all it was displaying on the screen was Kayama via Walai Creek. And to actually do a bit of a video on those screens and give you a bit of, a bit of information about them, the, you know, about the little upgrade that the Oscars are getting, um, I would actually like to be on the train in motion so I can just um, actually see the screen uh, scrolling through the stopping pattern and things like that and also just film a bit of a trip on it because these Oscars actually have uh, improved uh, improved quality of announcements, I believe. Um, so uh, the sets that have been done are um, H15 and 47 were the first two. Uh, H54. H54 was that Kayama one I was just talking about. And um, I think I was told or I read somewhere, I don't remember, um, that H4 um, has had that has had that same treatment as well. My train's over on platform nine here, face down. I've got H thirty eight. Okay. H thirty eight is is the train will be on to Epping. Um, just gonna pick wisely with the carriages the because Please do not get on this train. Obviously not a quiet carriage. Right. Yeah. I'm gonna choose wisely because um this time of the morning the these services are sort of used as a hotel <laughs> and sometimes I smell like the stages of rigor mortis or something. Um, <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, I'm on H38, um, carriage ONL5988. Uh, yeah, 
I was gonna. Yeah. I don't know. I, if, if there was room, I was actually gonna jump in the quiet carriage, but that's room. I can't really talk in there, so it's, it's a thing. Um, being it my personal opinion, um, everybody has different experiences, more pleasant and more unpleasant, I suppose. The the quiet carriages to me for the most part, for the ones that I've been on anyway, especially yesterday. Um, I think that they're probably the most annoying carriages on the entire train, you know, like, um, like in non-quiet carriages, people seem to just talk at a, like a smooth, somewhat quietish voice, sort of like I'm speaking to you all, you all right now. <laughs> but yesterday, yeah, this bloke, walk through a non-quiet carriage I was behind him um because I wanted to do it, wanted to go to the quiet carriage he he was talking sort of quietly through the non-quiet carriages and as soon as he sat down in the quiet carriages his volume went up to 100 you know he started speaking so loud and then it just gets even more annoying uh, because you have the passengers just currently going in yeah, it's a quiet carriage. It's a quiet. Just keep repeating that same thing over and over again, um, which is fine, of course. If you're in a quiet carriage and someone's being noisy, of course you have to say, "Hey, can you just sort of tone it down a little bit?" It's a quiet carriage. But when this person's constantly speaking on their phone and sort of not listening to the other people asking if you can sort of stop, this guy comes out with a bubble blaster yeah he yeah I'm not joking <laughs> I should have filmed it it was actually quite funny um with, with some facial blur of course he comes out with a bubble blaster and he's like this is a quiet carriage can you please be quiet and I'm like it's gonna be interesting so then he just starts blowing bubbles around the carriage now that was probably up there with some of the most interesting things I've seen throughout the years of travelling on Sydney's train network. But anyway, uh, where are we? Central, but I mean like where's the clock thing? 42 parts, we've got a couple of minutes. Uh, but while we're waiting for those couple of minutes, um, I'll just quickly chat about one more thing and then um, film the departure at, at Central here and um, then I'll stop filming between here and Strathfield so I can uh, drink this and sort of wake up a little bit. Um, what I wanted to chat about is um, I've started filming a bit more for the Sydney Trains Vlogs Shorts channel. Um, uh, why not film shorts and just put it on the regular Sydney Trains Vlogs channel you ask? I don't know, I just like... I don't know if it's an OCD thing, um, but I kind of like just scrolling through my videos on STV and it just being all long form, um, not running into shorts along the way. Yeah, I know. Fussy, fussy. I know. So I just thought I'd make a sort of... Uh, like a side channel for that. So if you want to go subscribe to Sydney Trains Vlogs Shorts, um, you can do so. You'll find uh, videos 60 seconds and under filmed in portrait. Yeah, that'll be pretty, pretty cool. Um, there's currently, I don't know, maybe 20 or so videos uploaded there from Monday the 14th. Oh, I'm getting the dates wrong. I think it's the 14th of August. It's coming Monday. <laughs> I'll start uploading um, to the Shorts channel daily. So I've currently got about 18 videos backed up. So. Yeah, um, so if you want to go over and subscribe to that, I'll... Um, if I remember, which I'll try to remember, uh, put the link or the uh, little at tag um, in the description.
made it to Epping. Just uh, film this uh, Oscar to part and then head over to the bus station. Should be uh, somewhere between two and five minutes until my 288 route to Marsville arrives. It's supposed to be a beautiful, um, unseasonable 24 degrees today here in Sydney. However, <laughs> there's usually a but when it comes to Sydney weather. Um, it's supposed to be quite windy later on today, so I think uh, that that. 24 degrees might feel a little bit less than that. There is my bus. It's series 2 CB80. I run by busways, fleet number 2902. I don't know my buses too much, so I don't, yeah. I'm mainly a train and light rail person. I mean, buses are okay. They're not horrible. I mean, with buses, I know I say I'm not so interested in them, but if I do see a new bus floating about, sometimes I will stand and wait for it to come back from wherever it's gone to get a photo. <laughs> bus stop. I'm just got to go to the Shell service station here to grab a coffee and some water. Then head to my place of work. And um, if, if I need to head to like Woolworths later on uh, to grab a couple of things, I'll I'll check back in and have a have another little bit of a chat, and then then after that will be a few clips from the trip home uh, from work. I know it's usually the same route each time, like it's always Epping, but um, other places that I work in Sydney, 
don't require a train necessarily. I mean, I suppose I could still, you know, uh, do a video. Thought he was coming down this straight. Don't really want to be hit by that truck. As a matter of fact, I don't want to be hit by any vehicle. <laughs> Get this coffee and I'll see you all later on. Wow, petrol is expensive. E10 for 222.9 and V Power for 247.9. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is your fuel price update. <laughs> Alright, so I've finished work. I'm uh, currently uh, Meadowbank Station on Waratah Set A1, uh, the first of the bunch. Um, so I'm just headed into Central now. I'm just going to grab something to eat. Um, so I just thought I'd, um, on the way back, just film the trip from here, Meadowbank to Rhodes, um, just to have a bit of a chat with you all as I pass over the Meadowbank Rail Bridge. Um, I, I was standing at Epping Station before. Um, I was just on the phone, clear to let him go because um, I noticed a steam train pass um, for the New England um, tour Next that's happening. Stop, Rhodes. Yes, it is. Including these cigarettes is not allowed on this train. Signs apply. Thank you. Anyway, I saw that pass, but um, I didn't didn't actually think to film it for this video. However, I did do a portrait um, video for um, Sydney Trains Vlogs Shorts. So um, again, if you want to head over to Sydney Trains Vlogs Shorts, um, the at tag will be in the description below. Uh, that video will be up in the next uh, few weeks, um, as there's a number of videos I've got to upload before that one. But yeah. Um, it was interesting to see. It was pretty cool. There was, um... This train will stop at Rhodes. Yes, it will. There's, um... There was two steam locos, uh... Seven, um... Red wooden passenger cars, uh... Three diesels, uh, Some Aurora cars. Uh, bits and pieces like that. It was pretty cool to see. Um, unexpected. But, yeah. Anyway, um... I'm gonna... I'm gonna wrap up this video, everybody. I'm feeling a bit tired. Have a bit to do, um... Today. Um, I've got a few phone calls to make as well, hence why I'm not actually filming the trip all the way into Central. Uh, but I hope you're all going really well, and um, yeah, thank you for watching as always. Please find the gap and the step down to the platform here at Rhodes. Yes, thank you. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching everybody. Always greatly this appreciated. This station is Rhodes. Please mind the gap. We're getting on or off the train. Seems like the announcements in this Waratah are a bit OTT, a lot more than usual. Alright, anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.